Welcome back folks. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create consolidation reports for account receivables and then how to upend data from two different templates. So first we want to make sure that we're signed into our Xero account. And we are. So now we're going to go ahead over to reports from the extension and then geoconfig zero menu option. And then we're going to go ahead and select standard reports. Now using the drop down menu bar, we're going to go ahead and select age receivable details. And then we're going to set up our dynamic report date and then compare the time periods and then make sure um, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that all of our filters are exactly the way we want before executing. So our dynamic report date is today to compare with um, is six periods and our age um, aging by is due date, which is all correct. And then we're going to just go ahead and make sure that the rest of our filters are the way we want. And I'm going to go ahead and execute our template. Okay, so now once your template is properly executed, your screen should look very similar to mine. And as you can see, our template has all of the correct attributes and filters. So that's how we know we've correctly executed our template. So now let me walk you through how to upend the next eight receivable details and how to do it so that it's placed below our first template using a different organization. Basically, I'm just going to have a, another template of age receivables with a different organization and I want it right below our first template on the same Google Sheet. So first, we're going to go ahead and switch our organization by going to geoconfig zero and clicking switch organization. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick a different organization. So remember, I picked the demo company. So this time I'm going to pick tutorial as our next organization. Then our first couple of steps are the same as the previous upload. So we're going to go to extensions, scroll down to geoconfig zero. Um, select reports and then in reports select standard reports and once again in the drop down menu option we're going to go ahead and select age receivable detail and then we're going to once again go through all our filters and make sure everything is satisfactory however this time in the second tab in the change pull settings we're going to go ahead and we are going to ensure that both of our data templates are on the same google sheets and to do this, we're going to deselect create a new sheet. And then I'm going to select append to previous template. And then I'm going to go ahead and deselect retrieve headers. And basically what this means is in our second data, we're not going to have the headers there because um, our headers are located in the first template that we made. So I really just don't want to repeat that. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect it. And then I'm also going to deselect display report title. And then on our template name, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to name it aged receivable for tutorial organization. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead to tabs three and four, make sure everything else is properly selected, and we're going to go ahead and click execute. So now you will see continuous data about aged receivables from two different organizations on one sheet. And I can show you here on my screen that you can see this right here. So all of this highlighted portion is the age receivable data from our second organization. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around and be sure to stay tuned for our next new upcoming videos. Stay safe, folks.